It's the weekday whiskey coming to you. Whiskey, bourbon, drinking, and alcohol. Hey everyone, it's Lincoln with the Weekday Whiskey, and today we're going to be installing the Yeti bottle opener on a Yeti Roadie 24. Now you don't need a lot to install these bottle openers on your cooler. Really all you need is a Phillips screwdriver and maybe a Sharpie. Now really the only thing we need to do before putting this on is the side on placement. Um, with all my Yeti Tundras, I've installed them on the side and I, I like this for a reason. You can see it doesn't stick out right here if you install it on the side. One of my concerns with putting it on the front is how it would stick out and maybe if I was loading cargo into my truck or sliding this in, I'd knock this off and leave some holes in my Tundra. And I, did, I did not want to do that. So I've been putting all mine on the side. Um, another option is to put it on the inside of the lid. I've seen a lot of y'all put them right here. I don't like that for a couple reasons. Uh, the first one is, I'll show you. If you ever have a friend use your cooler and um, they drop a bottle cap in it, it will leave stains if you don't clean it out right away. So there's some rust stains on mine. I've used a magic eraser and everything else I could think of to get those off and they're just there to stay, which is fine with me. The second reason I don't like putting this on the inside of the lid is because every time you want to use it, you have to open it. That's fine if you're reaching in, grabbing a beer, cracking it open. But when you have a friend who doesn't have a bottle opener or needs to use it, they're constantly having to open your lid, letting cold air out. So I like to keep my lid shut as much as possible. So that's one other reason I don't like this on the inside. So today we're going to be installing this on the outside. Now, one thing you'll notice on the Yeti 24 is this. So this indention right here isn't quite as deep as it is on any of the other Tundras. So when we install this one, it is going to stick out just a little. You can see right here, it's still gonna be a lot less than if we installed it right here. Now, one thing I like to do uh, before I just put it on and screw, is kind of mark off and do a little bit of a pre-drill on here uh, just to make sure I get it straight. So I kind of line this up exactly where I want it. Now, there's only two mistakes you can make when installing these. Is one, put it too low to where when you go to crack open the bottle, it hits the ground. Or two is to drill too tight to where you strip it out of the plastic. So let's not do either one of those. I'm going to go as high as I can right here. Uh, so I want it right about there. I'm going to make sure this is as level as possible by eyeballing it and as centered as possible. And when I get it where I like it, I'm just going to put a dot in all four corners. There we have it. So let's go ahead. Now what I like to do is do a little bit of a pre-drill on here to make sure these screws go in straight or I don't have anything obstructing me. So what I'll do is just start it. Now you may be asking yourself, does this compromise the cooler? I've had these on literally every cooler I own. I probably own 20 of the Tundras. Some of these have been on for um, probably going on 10 years. And so far, I haven't noticed any type of compromisation. I've also haven't noticed, um, or I also haven't had any fall off. So um, that's good news. So now that I've got those pre-drilled, I'm gonna go ahead and start my first one. All right, and when you're finishing these off, just get them snug enough. Whatever you do, do not over tighten. There you have it, simple as that. 